few months ago, we found out that the Department of Homeland Security is keeping a close eye on the Occupy movement. No surprises there. And truthout.org was the first media organization to file a Freedom of Information Act. So uh, Matt Renner from truthout.org, tell us a little bit about what uh, your organization found through these Freedom of Information Act requests, and then we can talk about how this might apply to today's actions. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, our lead investigative reporter, Jason Leopold, submitted a Freedom of Information Act request for all documents from the Department of Homeland Security's uh, top officials, so anyone in D.C. who actually makes decisions, uh, asking for documents relevant to the Occupy Wall Street movement. Um, there are at least two batches that they're sending us. The first one uh, came out about, I believe it was three weeks ago, maybe a month, and they detailed uh, a lot of discussion inside of department, the Department of Homeland Security at high levels about... And these are emails, correspondence, anything that they chose to hand over. Yes, exactly. You know, with these Freedom of Information Act requests, it's, uh, it's a little arbitrary and you're kind of at their will, um, and there's a lot of redactions. Uh, but with that said, these documents demonstrated that the Department of Homeland Security was looking at the uh, Occupy protests, conducting threat assessments at the regional level, and there was concern within the department that they were violating First Amendment rights of peaceful protesters uh, by even surveilling or using only open source um, documents because, as we know, any surveillance um, can have a chilling effect on freedom of speech. Uh, so the documents showed a concern about uh, uh, threat as assessment conducted by the Occupy Pittsburgh monitors at the Depar mm -hmm. Department of Homeland Security and that it may have stepped over the line into uh, essentially unnecessary surveillance of a peaceful activity. And, and of course these uh, FOIA requests that you submitted, it's, it's what they decided to turn over and it, and it seems like it barely lifted the veil into what the Department of Homeland Security is doing. And, and the, the time frame in which, that, uh, in which they turned over these documents was from sometime in the early, late summer, uh, early fall to about December. And uh, you are waiting for more of these documents to come through, which, which may reveal a little bit more information about what they're up to? It's impossible to say exactly what the next round of documents will have in them because we haven't seen them yet. However, we know that the Department of Homeland Security has said the next batch will be operational documents. So probably more like reports from the field or what they've been actually doing since uh, Occupy started in terms of monitoring or source cultivation. We know that there have been Department of Homeland Security officers involved in arrests.